How's it going guys? Nick back with another shave review. Uh, before I start with what we're getting into, however, I wanted to take a moment to talk about this stuff. Gables Lime with Menthol. Now, I used this in the last video. The reason why I kind of rushed through the last video's uh, post-shave is because my battery is about to die on the camera. So I just was like, uh, okay, we're done. Have a good day. But I want to talk a little more about this. When you first smell it out of the bottle, it's menthol. Bam! Menthol. Bam! Sinatra Lennon would love this. It's very mentholated, like 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 crazily mentholated. I don't really get a lot of limes, a little bit on the end, but mostly menthol. But then when you put it on, mostly menthol with a lot of lime once it's on the face, and then once it uh, kind of dries up and and cools down, it's all limes, baby. And it it lasts a while. This right here was sixteen dollars for ten fluid ounces. It's great. They make a version of this that is uh, cheaper and is just lime, no menthol. But I would give this stuff a shot. They make some bay rum and, and, and a couple other scents as well. But this lime, it's honestly one of my favorites now. And uh, I'm glad I found it. So there's that. Now to get into what we're, what we're shaving with today, we have... PAA's Phoenix Artisan Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Accoutrements or just Phoenix Shaving for short. Uh, this is the Rabbit Banana, which is banana and oh my god. Let me tell you, bananas are one of my favorite flavored things is bananas. I go bananas for some bananas. But uh oh my god, it's it's strong. Uh, this is their CK6 formula right there. Formula CK6, Crown King 6 formula. I did lather this up once just to check how the lather was, how much water I needed so I didn't have to waste time. Oh, my God. It smells amazing. And then we'll talk about the aftershave when we get there. Um, also, <laughs> when I was checking the lather on that, I, uh, broke my shaving bowl so uh i'm gonna have to get a new one if anybody has any shaving bowl recommendations down in the comments let me know i'm looking at uh a fine shaving bowl with the with the handle and the little thing to put it on the wall the little, the little hole um, but for now i'm just using this thing i found in the kitchen no ribs but uh it'll work Alright, so there's that. Oh, another thing that I totally forgot about that I'm using that is new. Um, sorry, this intro is taking a long time. As you know, I love the Phoenix Double Open Comb Razor. And I've used this for a long time. I bought a new one from them. It's the uh, Symmetry Open Comb. Not Dual Open Comb, just Open Comb. Focus on that, please. Stop looking at my face. There we go open comb design it actually has the how to grow a mustache I don't know if you can see that how to grow a mustache mustache man on there not the Phoenix logo which I think is interesting um, yeah so I've never tried this one before uh, it's the second razor I've gotten from Phoenix Artists and Christmas we're putting a feather blade up in there not been having good luck with the derby blades lately, so I'm just going to use this feather because I have some feathers left over. Sorry. <laughs> And in the slot. Bottom cap on top. Screw the bad boy down. It's a long screw post. I will say that. It's longer than the other Phoenix one that I have. Check 
display gaps tends to gap a little bit out on this side. Perfect. Cool. Perfecto. All right. There's that. Now let's get to the pre shade. Let's get the bowl and do here. Again, I'm going to be using the Parato Pre Shave. This is the sensitive version, so it's got basically no smell. We got water heat up here. I didn't just take a shower, so not a lot of hot water. <laughs> Don't bathe, kids. All right, hot water's hot water's hot. All right, now we have the whiskers all hydrated. Can I get some of this pre-shave? Just scoop it out. I don't know if that's too much or too little. No one left a note in the comments, so I'm just gonna use just about the same amount. I actually think this is a little bit more, but whatever. All right, there we go. Brush that off there. Get my hands. Now, I have about four days of no, three days of facial hair growth, so. Not a whole lot. I'm pop open this Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now I've used Phoenix in the past. Let's load her up. I've used Phoenix in the past. And I'm talking about the past. Uh, the first scent that I got from them was Cavendish. Wonderful scent. And it was still when they used the uh, metal tins. And uh, it's probably about five, six years ago. The metal tins and uh, the soap was still like a hard soap. Um, so that's the last time I used them. Been about five years. Before any of the crown stuff. So we're gonna try leather in this bowl. I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, let's find out though. I think it's gonna do nicely. We need some water though. I'm gonna hydrate that sound bitch. Just get a dribble going. This is not a ribbed bowl. Which sucks. But it's not producing a terrible weather. It smells so much like bananas. It's ridiculous. God, this hurt my arm for some reason. I don't know why, but lathering this up today is hurting my arm here. There we go. All right, this is looking oh, fantastic. Oh, smelling fantastic. And it's lathering up 
very nicely in this non-laddering ladder bowl. Okay, I think that's it for ladder. So we're just gonna ladder this on the face now. Get right to it. Mm, smells amazing. Oh, it's like a banana lappy taffy. And banana is my favorite. Favorite flavored thing, drinks, candy, pastries. If something comes in banana, I'm definitely going to try it and I'm probably going to like it. Beautiful, luscious lather. It's pillowy. It's thick. It's creamy. We're gonna heat up our razor right here. First time with the Symmetry by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and the first time with um, whatever soap this is. Uh, <laughs> what soap is this? Rabbit banana. So here we go. scent is just like <laughs> one of the best scents I think I've ever used. Not even Josh and you. I mean it just smells like everything I love. <laughs> so I've used close combed razors before. And I've used that double open comb razor before, but I've never used just a regular open comb razor, so. That's what we're doing today. The clogging doesn't seem too bad. It's a little bit in the teeth, but I'm going to let it slide for now. There's a boar hair right there. Chilling in my face. Slick stuff. Real slick. This is my first time using the Crown 6. I like this razor a lot. I <laughs> It's a little smoother. I think, than the double open comb. Which I'm cool with.
So far, though. Soap is performing beautifully. This is the razor. Still slick over here too. Still slick just about everywhere. It's impressive. Okay. I'm gonna wash my face and do a second pass. Mmm. What? I want to eat it. But I won't. Because that's. Sorry, I seem to get this a little bit more. Shave. Nothing to see here. Cool. Move my mirror back. A lot of feedback on this razor. But I like that. I like that about it. Performing beautifully. This butt might be my new favorite razor, everybody. Maybe it's just the newness that I am attracted to right now, but so far, so good. Now, Douglas makes amazing products he has for years. That's how he stayed in business for so long. So I'm not surprised that it's good. I'm more so surprised that I haven't tried it sooner. Shave this off, shave this off, wash this off. Nick to myself. Not hundred percent sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. Did I nick right there? Did I do it? I don't know. I can't tell. I felt like I did, but... I might just be lying. I didn't nick myself here like I did last time though, that thing fucking hurt. Wow. Yeah, I did get a nick right there. And right there a little bit. And right there on my nut in my um lip, but not a huge deal. I'm rinse off my face here. Let's swim. So good. Okay. That's fairly smooth. I'm not going to go any more on my neck because and maybe I will. a little bit, baby girl. Chin's always hard to get. I mean, I'm already way over on time. Look at that fucking nick right there. I got a couple up there too. Hmm. Oh well. All right. I gotta feel my neck too. Damn it. <sighs> it still was an enjoyable shave because of the banana. Let's wash off here with cold water. Almost forgot. Dokey then. I'm gonna use my Alum Block. Not a lot of feedback on the cheek. Definitely cords on the mouth and on the lip. None on the chin. A little bit on this jawline here. No, no, that jawline. And definitely down here. It's pretty agitated, so. Hmm. 
just kind of rubbed that all over the place here. All in all, it's a good shave. Got a few few nicks, but nothing super super crazy. I'm going a little overboard on this, but feels good. So 26 minutes. I don't like to go above 25, but I will this time. And I still gotta talk more. Jeez. I'll wash my face off. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Mm. Nice and smooth. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's much better. Okay. Now, time for the Dollar Shave Club post shave cream. Dollar Shave Club post shave cream. Yeah. I like it. Works good for me. Got to get in the hands here. Uh. Wonderful. Wash my hands off. nose ditch alrighty now for the aftershave splash we have <laughs> you probably guessed it from the title or from just the theme um, rabbit banana by Phoenix artist and accoutrements aftershave and cologne now I've only had one aftershave by Phoenix and it was the chocolate bourbon and it stung like hell. And I know that uh, Sinatra Lennon has that chilla cool, and that also stings like hell for him. So I'm curious to see if this is still very fucking stingy, or if they uh, changed it at all. I'm sorry. Just kind of want my fist to dry that bomb here. Getting my lips, but we're gonna give it a shot. <sighs> Just smells like bananas, dude. It's amazing. <sighs> I love bananas. I love bananas, and I do have something else coming uh, in this future video, probably the next video, um, that is banana related and possibly Phoenix related. So I didn't get the pre-shave cube because I just started using. Well, it's not my battery, it's my SD card, so <laughs> my SD card got full, so I, that's why it, it did that whole thing. But, um, I don't remember what I was talking about exactly, so we're just going to put on this aftershave now. Everything's dried, so let's do it. Nothing came out. Not too bad. Mm. Mm. 
a little bit in the hair. Wow. Mm. Mm. Well, wow. What a good shave. What a good scent. Um, I got a couple nicks, but nothing too terrible. They're all pretty much closed already from the Allen block and the balm. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> yeah, I saw this scent on their website, and I was like, I need to get that. That's awesome. So, uh, wow, smooth, too. That razor, mm, good razor. Really enjoyed it. The soap performed beautifully, besides the smell. I mean, the smell was awesome, but like beside the smell, the soap was awesome. That aftershave didn't burn too bad. Feels good. Smells awesome. Very impressed. Oh, very impressed. So, that was my shaving with a, a bunch of Phoenix stuff. <laughs> uh, check it out, Rabbit Banana. If you like bananas, check this scent out. It's one of my top favorites nowadays nowadays now um and the aftershave i need to pull a little bit more on just a little bit more please oh it's a good burn oh it smells so good okay that's it for me guys that was an amazing shave thank you for joining me See you guys in the next one, and mm, enjoy your days.